Hi, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. Luke is gonna join me in a moment to help me open this box. Okay, well it's already open, but he hasn't seen the contents of it yet, and I think he'll be really excited by it. I hope you guys will be too, because unless something goes incredibly wrong, the game inside this box is the game that we'll be playing next after we finish our Mice and Mystics playthrough. Okay, I've been joined by... Luke Smith. And we're gonna get right into this box. Actually, this box is full of other boxes, and the first one is this one here. Now, really taped up good. It is taped up pretty good. This is actually legendary Upper Deck's new Marvel deck building game. Now, I was really excited to try this out at Gen Con. When I sat down, the gentleman who demoed it for me was Jason Brenner, and I was floored when I found out he was actually a viewer of Watch It Played. And he's been really closely involved with uh, developing this game. And so we got talking on the internet and we were able to get a prototype copy of it. Obviously, this is a prototype because this is not the final box yeah. that you'll be getting if you buy the game. But if everything goes well, we'd like to be able to bring you an early playthrough of this so you can see the game, see how it works, etc. But I'm going to give uh, Luke a couple of these cards to look at. And I just want to tell you a, a little bit about this because Jason said it was fine if I did an unboxing, but I should probably tell you some of the differences between what you're going to see here in this unboxing and what the final game is going to look like. So Luke, go ahead and look. I haven't even looked. You're going to get to see these before I get Yay. to see them. Well, I got to see I got to see them at, at Gen Con, of course, but I didn't get to see all of the cards. So I'm really excited about that. So basically, there's some some very key differences. First of all, of course, it's going to come with a full box. It's also going to come with 60 card dividers so that you can, after you've unpacked all of the cards in the game, you can have them organized in the box, ready to go whenever you want to play. One of the things that really excited me, though, when I was talking to Jason is just to find out that it, a real gamer is behind this because Jason told me that the insert that they have inside of the box, not only is it going to hold the base game plus room for expansions, but there's also going to be room for your cards sleeved if you want. So there's a lot of gamers who like to sleeve their cards. I do that myself, and that's a real shame because you can't fit those cards back into the box once they're sleeved. And so in this game, it's not gonna be a problem. So I was really excited to hear about that. Also, these cards have not been cut on the corners. The corners haven't been rounded yet, and they're gonna be on a, a heavier card stock in the final print run. So uh, one other thing though I wanna mention very quickly as well, uh, Jason said that he'll probably be able to get us a copy to give away in a contest, which, which is, again, really cool as well. You seen any good stuff in there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous, I wanna see this stuff. But I also wanna show you this as well. The game um, comes with a, a board for you to play on. And tell you what, I'll tell you a little bit about the game as I unpack this board and show you some of the cards. A lot of the gameplay takes place on this board here. Now this is a prototype, but it gives you a rough idea of what the final version will look like in the game when it's released in November. Legendary is a deck building game for one to five players, so that means you can play the game solo. If you play with a group though, each of you will be working together to try to defeat the mastermind villain in the game. There's different masterminds, but there's also, within those masterminds, there's different schemes, different ways for them to win. So when you sit down to play, you don't necessarily know who you're going to be facing or what schemes they're going to be using. The players themselves, though, as I said, will be working together, so you'll win or lose together. But then after that, if you want to, you can calculate your victory points as individuals to see who is the most legendary in defeating the enemy. And because it's a deck building game, you'll start with a so-so hand of cards, but then you'll be able to upgrade it with new superheroes that you'll add into it, which you will then use to fight against the villains that come out in the game, and of course work against the mastermind villain who is trying to defeat you. The other thing I didn't mention is that at the beginning of the game, each of the players are going to be picking some heroes to form the hero deck. Hey look, it's Hulk! Hulk smash! <laughs> what other heroes have you seen in there? Um, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Thor, Nick Fury. Cool. You name it. <laughs> okay, so there's a whole bunch of different hero decks. There's 15 hero decks, and you'll only be playing with some of them. So every time you play, it'll be a slightly different combination in combination Hawkeye. with... Hawkeye! The, there's Hawkeye. In combination with the different villains that you might face, etc. Anyway, I don't want to make it sound like I'm starting to review the game. Um, I'm just kind of... In, Excited about this because I'm, I'm a Marvel fan. I know he is as well. So we're going to have fun bringing this uh, little advanced look to you. And uh, you'll be able to decide for yourself when you see the playthrough whether or not this game would be a good fit for you. And Jason, I want to thank you for sending us this. Uh, that's a real treat for us and a real treat for our viewers, hopefully. But that's not all he sent. So if you could just put those cards down, I'm going to show you what else he sent to us. <laughs> Upper Deck has another Marvel game. 
This is the Superhero Squad game. It's a card game. And uh, Jason sent this along so I could give it away to you guys. So we might give this away during our playthrough of Legendary because Legendary isn't out yet, but he did say that he might have a copy of Legendary for us to give away as well come December once the game is released. That's not all though. There's other stuff what? in here as well. <laughs> yes. There's also these playmats that we can give away that go with the uh, the superhero squad. We've got <laughs> we've got Thor riding a purple unicorn. Who wouldn't want that? We've got a couple of those, and we've oh. got um, we've got oh. the Hulk ready to crush the entire world. So we're definitely going to give away uh, some of these, and 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 there's more. What? There's more. He also sent us uh, a bunch of booster packs for um, the Superhero Squad game. So we're going to give these away as well. So Jason, once again, thank you very much. I hope you thank Upper Deck on our behalf as well. Really appreciate you sending this stuff to us. What this do you think, is Luke? just plain awesome. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again in the next episode where we'll be playing some more Mice and Mystics. Until then, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.